Hello everybody, my name is Fretex and welcome back to Star Sector. So at the end of the last episode we kind of found out... Ooh. Is this the pirate fleet? No. <laughs> it's just a regular fleet. Never mind, my dreams have been ruined. So we kind of found last episode that if I colonize a system out in space, I actually create my own faction, which is not really what the idea of the series is. So I, I reverted time and we got rid of that. And I'm actually going to be heading over to two missions. So there's going to be one here to survey a system. And there's going to be another one to kill Bounty over here. And hopefully the combined income from these two missions will let me actually go and buy my own governorship over one of our existing systems. So this mission is pretty easy, really. The only thing we've got to do here is we've got to find and survey a desert planet. <gasps> There's a tundra world. Oh, wait. What's happening over here? What is going on? Oh, they're all... <laughs> I just want to find some pirates for everybody. Is that too much to ask? So it looks like we've actually stumbled across another world which is actually owned by the Ludic Path. The Ludic Path seems to be all over the place with their hidden... Um, star bases and whatnot. If it's actually pretty weak, we may actually want to try and uh, nibble at it. What's going on over here? Ooh. A bunch of stellar shade. That's interesting. This might be a pretty good planet then. Let's do a survey. Class 4. Abundant organics, abund uh, adequate farmland, and scattered ruins. That's a pretty decent one, I gotta say. Of course, we can't actually colonize it because it's bad times, but at least we can look at it and we can appreciate it. <laughs> But it's okay. Uh, I wonder if there's a way that I can convince my uh, faction to go and colonize a bit of territory. That'd be pretty interesting. We'll look into that afterwards. Anyway, uh, explore the ruins. Yes. What do we get? Oh, interesting. I tell you what, I'm not gonna. Buy I'm not gonna use this. I'm gonna sell this for 50k. <laughs> we want to try and avoid using these random nations' uh, weapons and stuff and cluttering up our. Um production display when we get a colony. Anyway, so I was going to try and find myself the... Oh, there's parts everywhere. Aha! I found something we can fight. Let's kill them. This is not the mission. <laughs> but while I'm here, why not kill some pirates, right? It's my favorite pastime. Oh, but be careful. Don't crash into me, please. Okay, there's quite a few enemies here. Let's go for the lasher. They got some cataphracts over there. Nope. <laughs> oh, that's a bit of a... I like how I panicked and just immediately backed up. I was like, I don't know what's going to happen, but I don't like the look of it. Okay, I'm going to flux while we can. Seems the enemy is pretty... Uh, oh, it's the other... It's my other destroyer. I do know their little defensey thing with their point defense insurance there. It's pretty awesome. Uh, my ally was a bit more aggressive there. We probably could take this guy down. I'm doing it anyway. I'll do it myself. It's fine. I'm killing this freighter. They can't stop me. You know what? I take it back. They stopped me. You think? I thought that was a ship dying there, but it's just my one of my drones is taking care of the mechs taking care of business. Oh no! Oh no! That's a, that's a dangerous missile. Hit top. Yep. We got more armor on the front. Nope. Sir, I am not a fan of you. Can somebody please kill the slasher, please? He's <laughs> causing me some... Do you know what? I'll kill him. We must avenge my damaged hole. You're paying for this paint job, sir. Oh. oh. <laughs> if that Reaper hit me, I probably would have died there. It should have been a complete disaster. We need some more frigates, I think, because these little ships are a bit annoying. Or maybe some more fighters. What are the two? They both go against the same thing. I've taken more damage in this battle than the whole of last video, so I've not had a good start, personally. Uh, let's try and wear this guy down. I do love this big old super drone we have here. I just try and get. I saw it the first video we did when we looked at fighters. There was a mech that had a giant sniper rifle. I really want that one as well. That looked really fun. Uh, let's deploy... It's weird that, by the way, that I can assign control groups, but control groups don't work in uh, this pursuit mode for some reason when you're delegating tasks. It's, it's really weird. you think it would work. Desert World. I think this is the mission, by the way. So we perform a survey. It sucks. <laughs> Do I get paid for so? <laughs>
Was that the mission? I think it was. Wait, I made a double shake. There was a... I think... Wait. Did the mission get cancelled? Oh, no. I did that for no reason. At one point, there was a mission from... A, I think it was a Sidatic or whatever they were. It was like, let's go over here and um, survey this system. It looks like they've got rid of it. Well, that sucks. <laughs> I went into that for no reason. I'm trying to find the nation in... Wait, they're gone. Maybe there's just no mission to them. The pink faction is not on this taskbar for some reason. We'll leave it for now. Let's go, let's go move on and let's go for the actual bounty in Panther. So apparently it is located in... Oh, it actually tells me exactly where it is. That's sadly. We probably should also identify where on earth the enemy base is as well before we leave. Ooh. There it is. Nope, that's something else. <laughs> that's not a star base. Ah, this is looking interesting. Ooh. Hello there, mining base. Open pod. Harvested organs? I needed some of those. Not really. Um, <laughs> But I'll take it anyway. Yes. Is this what I was looking for earlier? Oh, no, it's not. Maybe they changed it. I thought this is the one that increases range for all ships, but it allows small weapons to be point defense, which is also pretty handy as well. So we will take it. Uh, beta core and alpha core. Very nice. It'd be very useful when we go back. Sorry, gamma core. When we head back to our new colony after we get enough money, we can just uh, apply some of those to it. I actually don't know what my faction stance is on AI technology. A class five. This is such a good planet. It's got extensive ruins. Adequate farmland, moderate ore, abundant organics. It's a bit hot, but also it's habitable, so it kind of offsets it. This is a good planet to live in. If there was a way we can tell my AI to colonize this planet, we would do that. But unfortunately, I don't know how to do that, so. <laughs> Explore the ruins. More core. Whoa. Auto hybrid blaster. Do you know what? We found this in Salvage. It's, it's game, everybody. We can equip this somewhere. <laughs> I want to try this. That's like a pretty cool weapon if you ask me. Okay. Uh, take all that. Done. Now let's just do it again. And I didn't get much, but it's fine. Okay, uh, let's head off. Actually, I did say I wanted to find that base, right? I am pretty sure it must be in the top part of this map. Ah, unless... <gasps> There's a research station as well. There's a lot of stuff here. Ooh. Ooh. That has a lot of modifiers. <laughs> That's a lot to read, everybody. Um, fair enough. Is there only work on Imperial? Only works with Imperial ships. That's a bit sad, everybody. We'll learn it anyway, though, just in case we found an Imperial ship. Gorse cannons, Imperial armor, span magazines. Oh, it's, it's pretty cool. We'll take it, we'll take it. Okay, let's just finish off the discovering part of this little solar system. This is a very active system, as you can tell. There it is. The orbital Isleth Nexus. That is an interesting amount of enemies there. I would go for this battle as well. Because I can. <laughs> if I can hurt the looted path, I will hurt the looted path. That was a lot of beeping. Okay, we need to get rid of these Sunderers first. Um, I'm actually just going to tell the AI to assign strike missions to both Sunderers. Because Sunderers are very, very vulnerable to fighters. So, Ooh. What was that missile you shot at me? I want my big drone to help me out, buddy. Ooh, very nice. Push it through. I'm going for this. I'm taking it down. Come on. Nailed it. That was all. Oh, yes. I was going to say the missiles were wasted, but it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love those missiles. It's true they only have like four or five uh, shots per mission, but it's fine. That one, that was a good start to battle, everybody. We just <laughs> absolutely ruined them. I think that other Sunderer is still alive, though. Um, oh, it's only dead, though. If we have a quick look over here. Commando drones are engaging. 
They're a bit too small to keep up with it though, unfortunately, but they are about to kill it. Perfect. Certain ships are very good in certain, certain situations, but like my ship really, if it gets kind of stuck with a bunch of fighters on it, it's going to die. That's just the reality of the situation there. Um, let's teleport forward a little bit. Oh, it's a phase ship and a lasher. I'm not a fan of either of these. Uh, we'll make sure we actually assign a fight mission to keep on this phase ship though. Nice. Can you recatch this before it escapes? I don't think we're fast enough personally. I think we're a bit too slow here. Oh. If it's shooting, it's not moving at full speed, so at least we're slowing it down, but that lasher is out of there. The Ludic Paths ships have like a, a modification that makes them a bit faster than basic ships, so that's why they're always very rapid. Uh, unless you use Auto Resolve, then you kill them. <laughs> auto Resolve defies physics sometimes, so it's all good. Ooh! Whoa! We got a Super Saiyan! Oh, what? A Super Chicken? I don't know what this man would be. Yeah, that's clearly not a humanoid uh, feature there. <laughs> I don't know what's happening there, but he's either some kind of super... He, I reckon his hair turns yellow when he gets angry. And also, moi, everybody, he is steady. I like steady. Promote to ship command. I am sure. I'm going to give you, my friend, the other destroyer. Uh, there it is. Welcome to the team, sir. Welcome to the team. Not great, to be fair. Um, because you only get five traits, unless you have, like, more stuff. Uh, not brilliant, but it's okay. Depending on the rest of the traits he gets, he might get assigned different ships, but we'll have to see. Cargo pod. What have I done here? Oh, that was why. Okay, I kind of want to go for this station. Is there any point, though? Do we get paid for this? No, we do not. Then there's no point, everybody. <laughs> I'm going to move on with my life. Okay, so let's move on out. Don't do it. Don't. Why? Why would you do that, man? I'm leaving. You slow down me leaving. The fool. I could have changed my mind and gone back and killed him. We probably should survey this just in case there's something cool here. Class free, not brilliant. But I can also sell data to my faction, and I'm pretty sure if you sell data to your own faction, that means they're aware of its existence, so then they can go and use that data to go and do a colony at some point, which is pretty... Oh, <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done that. It's fine. Uh, super speed. I really hope that we manage to find ourselves a... Oh, I need to leave... A gate. If we find a gate around here, we can teleport back whenever we want to, which should be super handy. There are gates just around and about in the game, so... Ooh. But this is not one of those places. So I'm pretty sure the game itself told us that... Oh, I leveled up. This is a place where the bounty is. Um, now, what do I want to get? What do I want to get? I kind of do want to get... All fighters gain plus 20% speed. And grants increase effective ships of officers, including flagship. Oh. Oh. Wait. Grants increase. I'm trying to figure out how this works. Does it mean that if I have an officer c c carrier, then you get more effect of the top speed? I think that's how that works, right? Who knows? But regardless, though, top 20% top speed is pretty useful. Ah, oh, that isn't. I reckon we go for this anyway, because it's basically going to mean that we get more faster units, they have better accuracy, just all round improves their efficiency there, which is pretty handy. Maximum at least eight or less fighter bays in your fleet, you have four. Let's see. Let's see. In effect, increased by 1.5. It actually did tell me exactly what I was asking, which... <laughs> Damn it! If only I read it, I would have not had to ask the stupid question, everybody, but alas, it's not the case. Anyway, apart from me being an idiot, uh, let's carry on, shall we? I do... Let's have a look at these other ones. I want to get ECM, I think, as well. Um, let's have a look at these. Because this one's also very useful. Reduce supply costs. Very, very, very handy. Hmm. I'm going to go for ECM.
I like the idea that I move faster and the enemy move has less range on their weapons. So, we know this is the place, I think. I think he's in the arid well. Oh, no, there's someone below us directly. Let's go and have a quick look. The best thing about that as well is, uh, first off, the screen's dancing. And also, we can pretty much respec whenever we want. So, it's not like we're locking ourselves in forever. It's just temporary. Ooh. Survey data. Interesting. Okay, uh, we'll take that. Makeshift shield generator and Midas mods. What is this? Massive impact deflection system. What? Oh, it's some kind of... Oh, it reduces damage from asteroids. Interesting. And we've also got low-grade weapons from Vol... Oh, Volkov. Interesting. Well, we'll take all this. I probably don't need to have this much ore in my inventory, so we'll dump that. Uh, let's do it again. Or the comments get very angry at me, even though it only gives me like 16 stuff, it's fine. <laughs> One of the void angry comments. That's all I get these days. Oh, what's that? I like how it's a big fleet, but it's nothing compared to me. We're going in, everybody. Then we're going to try and identify if there's a gate nearby so we can teleport back. Hi. The Righteous Flotilla. Um, I want to have the main defense force in the mid middle here. And we just assign various ships elsewhere. I don't want to rush combat. If we can... I like holding it until they run out of units, then we push in. Because if I just rush it, we lose ships. It's as simple as that, really. Uh, but it's nice that we get a nav boy, though, because we get even more speed than before. And also, we have... The enemy has 6% less range, which is pretty awesome as well. It would be more, but they also have, they have to ECM themselves. Yeah, I'm going to join up with our big old, big old ship here. Yeah, I'm going to phase into it on second. And go. Oh, why did it turn around? <laughs> if that was my ship, I would have been very upset there. Sometimes AI just makes the wrong call. And that was one of those situations. Oh, he's fine, though. He's not dying anytime soon. Unless... Ooh, very nice. Big fan. No! <laughs> why are you here? I, keep, I need to get rid of the ship as soon as possible, everybody. But uh, currently, we're saving up to build a uh, buy a colony. So when we get that, we will start getting rid of this ship because it's mad. Uh, okay, let's go for some kills on the big ships here. Like I was just putting the shield up. I could just phase the way like that. Let's be careful here. This ship has not got great defenses, but it is still quite dangerous with its torpedoes there, so... Oh, it's kind of wasting them, to be honest. It's just firing them, but I'm not even close to their situation. You've taken some damage, sir. He's been hit by a missile at the back. That's what's happened. Ah, that's not good. You're too close. You are too close. But he might be okay, actually. As long as I support him. Assist. Come on. Nice. If I back up again, if I get one more phase, I can get my ally to help shoot. We need... Um, we've kind of been pushed back quite a bit here, actually. But everything's okay, because the guys that are pressuring my navy here are shepherds. <laughs> so, they're not really pressuring my navy. It's just they're being cautious. I reckon we can take this guy down if we do it together, my friend. Brother, let's do it. I'm a bit too close, so he's on me. He is on me. I've got to be very careful with... I'm not having the shield up in case it decides to fire the Reaper, because it will kill me. Oh, we've got it on the run. I've got to still be careful. One of those torpedoes can kill me in one hit. Oh, we got it. We got it. It's over. 
That was a very, very short amount of time it was overloaded there. That was a bit ridiculous. Oh, no. Can we get some... Kill that, kill that. We need a fighter wing on that. As three ships are a giant pain in the ass. We can kill this quickly. I forgot this guy actually had two empty missile slots. We had to look into that at some point. The only missiles I've seen for this faction, though, were ones that were like, um, well, like my current ones. You use them a few times and it's out of ammo, which is what most missiles are, but I would like ones that aren't like that. We've done a lot of damage here. How's my... He's doing... He's doing fine. Oh, he's still going for it. I forgot about that. <laughs> he's fine. Don't worry about it. Apparently he's winning. It's fine. Nice. We got fr uh, Frigate and also our fighters here. I'm, oh, I need that weapon. If we can get that weapon, we can put it on our carrier. It doesn't really work this way, but I just hope that I might get it. <laughs> oh, bombers! But the so guy. Okay, I'm pretty well. Uh, let's go down here because there's a bunch of retreating mules and whatnot. Well, I shouldn't have, I should have just took the armor damage there, but I was a bit too uh, cautious there. Look at this! This guy is so good! Any more of these guys? There is definitely a lot to be uh, learnt from using different mechs. I think we can get a good squad if we get a lot of uh, different mechs. Okay, I think we pretty much wrapped it up, isn't it? There's one big ship left, which is about to die. And we're done. Nice. I'm pretty well. Let's just send a few guys out. They're all dead. Happy days. Done. That was not the bounty, was it? That was something irrelevant. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it wasn't actually related. Um... Someone's leveled up. Roman the Third. Is that his name? <laughs> Interesting. Roman. You are to learn helmsmanship. It's not an option. Then never mind. I he needs helmsmanship. Helmsmanship is the default. Yes, please. Uh, one, please. Uh, we need. You can get more combat endurance. Is that a skill worth getting? Let's have a look at the other ones. Point defense. Extends the range of point defense by 200. That's pretty cool, but not what we want right now. This is the best option anyway. We'll grab this. I think there's other. It also increases the maximum comet readiness, so he gets more buffs generally flying ships anyway, which is there you go, pretty handy, as you can tell. Like for instance, this guy here is like plus five percent. It's not as much as it used to be. I do still prefer the old system where the crew determined the quality of the ship, but that was just like a cosmetic thing. I think um, the problem with that system is that it caused performance issues, maybe, because it was probably a lot of to manage every single fleet having separate entities uh, and skill levels. It must have been quite a lot to uh, handle there. Okay, so I'm not seeing this bounty, everybody, unless that was the bounty. That was it. Oh, yeah, cool. Maybe probably because it's a... Um, probably because that was a special mission. It wasn't like a default bounty character kind of thing, but I'm not sure. Anyway, let's move on. We have loads of money right now. We actually have enough money to buy that station I was on about earlier. So we're going to head back. We're going to buy the station. I just really hope that we can... F what is going up? It's fate. Don't worry about it. It's not real. Believe. <laughs> Imagine if that was real, though. There's millions of tiny fleets. Uh, yes. Yes. There's a gate here. That's great. Okay. I tell you what, we're going to come back. What we do, this is a big system. It requires us to go through it properly. We're not going to ignore it, don't worry. Is the Ludic Path here? 
How are they everywhere? Are you the leader path? Tell me. Tell me. Who are you? No, he's an enemy hostile. That's what they're okay. We're definitely... I know I'm ignoring stuff. We'll come back in a second. Don't worry. I'm going to go back. We're going to sell loads of stuff. I'm going to buy my market. And we'll teleport back here and we'll look at this entire system. Look out. Oh, the, the money. So the next step after this is going to be to get our, uh, the big ships. We either want the Dreadnought, which looks absolutely amazing. Or that it was like the super cat. I can't remember what it's called. We'll find one in a minute. Don't worry. Where, are, where am I going, everybody? This is not the plan. This is the wrong way. I'm meant to be over here. Okay. <laughs> is that another prospector? Oh, it's a... It's a neutral one. Interesting. Well, I'm out of it. I'll see you guys later. Vroom. Okay. Uh, let's sell our goods. Do you know what? I'm not going to sell my goods. I'm going to sell my goods on my new system. I'm going to go and buy it, and I'm going to be like, here's those of stuff we're going to sell you. Actually, that's not a good idea. <laughs> and then, let's just sell it here instead. It's fine. Uh, we'll sell it in our capital city, our jungle planet. Hi, jungle planet. Have some stuff. I'm going to give you all of this. Do I get Tara setting to military bases? I do. It's no different. A lot of stuff to sell here. I can sell organs openly. Then we will sell organs openly. Oh, that, that was a gross noise. <laughs> Hopefully it wouldn't pick up on the uh, audio there, guys. It was uh, not a pleasant noise to hear. The money is unbelievable. Look at this. Money! Ah, it's all so, so good, everybody. I should get some more Marines, because we can. I feel like things are going very well for at the moment, so I really want... Yes! This is not the bigger ship, though. There is one bigger than this, but still. Look at this ship, everybody. The Maelstrom Battle Cruiser. 45 speed. It's going to be the main master of our race it's going to be epic but first as i mentioned we will go and grab the up uh, not upgrade we will grab our own system first so if we just go into the space nope that didn't work there you go the quicker we get the station the quicker it starts giving me taxes the quicker it pays itself off it's okay Did I explain? I, I, if I did explain, I'm sorry, but I'm going to do it again. So, the reason I'm picking this, I, I had a look through all the colonies that we actually could buy. And for some reason, this station has no negative modifiers. The only modifier it has is that it's, it could be used for mining. Where all the planets were like barren and whatnot, they had negative modifiers such as more hazard um, costs and stuff like that. So, I do feel like the station is probably the best choice for us to buy governorship of. And I like the idea of being a master of a space station. Um, also, I'm kind of confused. If I go and build a... I guess if I build a station to defend it, it would have two stations. <laughs> there'd be the station, then there'd be a defense station. Okay. Oh, glorious. What's the space call again? Oh, I, can't, I, was, I was trying to see it. I was like, oh, it's on the asteroid belt. I am taking direct command. Of Necky Nest. Maybe the name could be improved, but I'm buying this place, okay? The price has gone down! Yeah! That's awesome! Okay. Proceed. I am definite. Wait, let's just. Let's be careful here. Save, in case it makes my own faction again. I, I want to avoid that. Okay. Necky Necky, you are now under my direct control, Necky Necky. Necky Nest is now under your administration. Welcome to your new duties, Retex. Imagine if I press that by mistake. I would be absolutely devastated. Okay, so awesome. We now have our very own beautiful colony. As I mentioned, this place has one modifier, which is it has ore deposits, which is pretty handy. So it currently has mining going. Um, what is? Why has that got that highlighted there? Does that mean it's already got them applied? Oh, I think it already has one. Ah. Oh. How cool is that? So it's actually got a alpha core. 
Orbital Station. Is what is this? Is this a unique building because it's a station? No, this is a defense station, isn't it? Oh, it is! <gasps> it's got a custom graphic! How cool is that? Oh, that's awesome! And it's given it like a commander? Is that is that connected though? So what does the Alpha Core do anyway? Alpha Core, reduce upkeep by 25%, reduces demand by 1, increases station combat effectiveness. I think by the last comment there, it means that it installs a uh, super AI commander to the station. I kind of want to... Let me just do some stuff. Let me just give them that instead. Because the only thing we're losing is the combat commander. So if we go out of it again and we look, it's lost its commander. That makes sense. Fair enough. Um, but I want to see if I put a... Alpha Core in here, increases production by one, reduces demand by one, and reduces upkeep. So that will probably give us some more money, I would say. Increases production. This won't produce anything until later. I'm pretty sure as time goes on, as time goes on, I'm pretty sure it will start creating certain illegal goods and whatnot. Um, it, I think it starts making drugs but that might also be mining that makes drugs i'm not i can't remember exactly what happens but something happens <laughs> technical terms everybody technical terms anyway so currently we're it's going to make us 10 grand a month if i assign this core we're going to be making 10 grand still the plus one is pretty useless right now isn't it to be honest maybe we should at least temporarily let's just switch this around We make one more of those and we put that there. It didn't really make any difference to the income there, to be honest. But as there literally is absolutely zero income from this, there's no point having that there. So that's pretty cool. We got this all already sorted out. Um, make improvements. Increase production by one. Increase stability by one. Increase accessibility by 20. Increase stability by one. So I just want to check all those different things there. So we want to probably make this a very good system. I can't do anything, I don't think, in terms of new industries because we're currently too small. We need to get up to a colony size four to actually be able to, well, get more stuff. <laughs> Which should happen eventually, but not right now. Uh, we can build a few things though. We can build roider dives. Oh, it makes ore. That's interesting. Very interesting, but it does demand quite a few things there. Way station, patrol HQ, and ground defenses. I feel like this would be a good investment getting a patrol HQ because it means we start sending out our own units from this area. Um, but for now, we're going to avoid it because if I make this, I want to do it when we get the heavy industries here. Um, yeah, what do you for now? As for upgrades, though, I'm going to grab this upgrade I think it will give us 80% accessibility and more population growth so in the long run it will pay itself back so done that is my colony if we go over to storage nothing there nothing here okay fair enough and now we have no money again <laughs> we shouldn't be too surprised at this point it's fine damn it why did I pick this stupid place with the asteroid belt? I'm going to keep damaging my ships here. So, as I promised, though, we are going to head back towards that system. I haven't forgotten, don't worry. Um, how do I do that? Derelict spore ship. I have to have a look at this. I don't know what a spore ship is, but it needs to be investigated. Did I just do emergency burn by mistake? I did, didn't I? Well... <laughs> That's just why my I just lost like 50 grand worth of supplies there from pressing that one button. At least it's not as bad as that battle video I did the other day where I accidentally sank into a city by mistake and it just killed my entire character. I was like, well, that sucked. Huh. Anyway, moving on. It's a shame this place hasn't got a star base as well, but it is a bit close to the other gate, so it'd be a bit weird. So we head back this way, we'll get some more supplies and we we'll go and do some exploration. 
I'm pretty sure we could probably make quite a lot of money from exploration because first off, it gets you, gets you a lot of money, and also, it's pretty interesting. Okay, let's see. Let's go and stop by our homeworld, and then we can move on once again. Invasion failed. I don't know. We were invading anybody. Am I making profits now? Aha! So I was looking at the wrong place. It's there. I forgot I have an admin. Ooh. How do I assign you? Because she gives plus one to production, right? Industrial planning. I think that's plus one. If we just go into this, I'm administrating it. I don't think I got any perks. I don't. Okay. So, all industries supply one more unit of the commodity they produce. I will take it. Monthly salary, 20k. Do you know what? Not worth it. <laughs> at least at the moment. When we get industries and stuff going, yes. But for now, no. That would probably offset all the money she could possibly make from having plus one uh, thing there. We're probably just going to sell these gamma cores because they're pretty mediocre, to be fair. Um, <clears throat> oh no, what a mistake. I sold it on the black market. What a tragedy. Yeah, I would love it if I can get some lies. Wow. Get a bunch of that. Let's get some more fuel just in case. And we got a nice 50k buffer. I have way too much of this. I just realized. Uh, let's do that. There. there you go. Okay, let's go. Let's go and explore the unknown. So hopefully we make enough money from this little endeavor here. That we can actually, that is very far away, that we can actually afford one of those big ships. Because I really, really want one. Like how as the games open longer and longer, it's it kind of falls apart with the loading and stuff. <laughs> I have done the last uh, three episodes you've watched in a row, by the way. So that is, I kind of want this. We're going to recover it. Because I, like I said, we're allowed to use derelict and recovered ships. So we're taking this with us. Vigilance, Mud Skipper, not the best ships in the world, but we will take the Savage. It's going to be weird having a ship that's not in our colours, though. <laughs> it's going to be very strange. Oh, can I not? Oh, okay. Apparently this field sucks. There's a lot of stuff to investigate around here. Oh, hello? Not a very smart enemy there. Uh, let's go. Do you know what I forgot to do? I forgot I was going to try and look for some of those cool missiles, but we found a lot of money anyway. Can't defeat me. I got too much gun. Very nice. Cool if there was like a, I know it'd be way too much work, but it'd be cool if there was like a logistics uh, ship you can make. Like have like a carrier that had like a manufacturing for missiles or like ammo. And it had like drones that flew between your ships in combat and it dropped off ammo. But that would probably be way too much work. Uh, but can you imagine how cool that would be? Like you're fighting and it's like, we got the logistics ship and it just flies in, docks and it's like, oh, here's some missiles there. That'd be amazing. Uh, but also probably not very balanced anyway. <laughs> and also probably a terrible idea in every way. Ooh, he's coming in, he's coming in. I'm out of range. He's out of he's been out range though, so he can't actually hit me. He's at my mercy. Oh. Oh no, he's coming in. Very nice team. Good job. I don't want any random pirates in my beautiful exploration system. They're not welcome here. Okay, so... I don't think there's a reason not to grab this nav boy while we're here.
It's mine now. <laughs> I'm gonna grab all these just for the sake of it because I can. Um, we probably should grab. We do that one last. Is there another one for sensors? No. Oh, that's sad. Oh, no, sorry. Yes, a stable location though. You can build one if you want. Because if there's a good system here, you never know. Our guys might come and colonize it. It might happen. Probably not missing anything. Let's try and stay a little bit closer to the belt here. Now it's a periodic pings. Nope, nothing hit. Right, well, as far as I can tell, I haven't really got a censorship, so we might be missing a lot of stuff here. That's just another random person. Nope, nothing else. Okay, so we head towards the core now. This far away, there's still going to be some stuff here. What is this? Um, It wants to replace powerful shields, but why would I... I didn't realize I had all these stats, by the way. Oh. Most of them are pretty cool. Like this one, I like this one. And this one, we're very shield focused of our build here. Two casualties, loyalty, and recovery chance. <laughs> it's a very depressing... Uh, the crew's very depressed, really. They're, they're having an awful time. I mean, they are literally flying around in the glass cannon, so I can't be too surprised there. There's something by the sun, and there's something over here. Ah, supply cache. You know what? It has supplies. Very handy. Orbital habitat. <gasps> What is this? Byzantine wine! Cool. I've never seen that before. That's probably like a mod thing, I would imagine. Wow, what a great place. <laughs> I don't think this place is going to be uh, home to any colonies anytime soon. Do you know what? If I'm going to do this, I have forgotten to... There was one I did do earlier, a planet over past, but it's fine. What else do we have? Ooh. Loads of stuff. What is this? Plug injectors. Allow zero flux speed boost to take effect regardless of flux level. That's crazy. Heavily restricts weapon ranges past six. Oh no. What? Oh. Ruined it. Ruined. I just got an amplifier. Interesting. A lot of trade-offs here, isn't there? I think we've seen that one already. Uh, wingsuit. Interesting. Wait, how does that work? So I have used Wing Con before. I mentioned it in the first episode where you can have like you have like a fighter that's like more modified and it's a squadron commander. Though I didn't realize it says here you can it can be installed on strike craft or carriers. That's interesting. I didn't realize it could be put on carriers. Um fighter engagement range decreased by what is this? I need to let's, let's investigate this one. Let's let's put this on. Interesting. Because if that does reduce the engagement range of our carriers, it is pretty useless, to be fair. But it'd be good for something else. Let's try it. What is this? Ultra shock beam. Awesome. And what is this? Jericho. That's a, is that a small? That doesn't look small. That's huge. <laughs> this missile's massive. The light missile weapon. I don't think that's a light missile, my friend. That is like a... That is a big old missile right there. What is this? Is that a, a large missile torpedo? Oh. So many cool weapons in this game. Okay, so let's learn all those mod specs. And let's investigate quickly here what happens here. So we're going to this fella. I need to investigate... I need to find out how this works. It is there.
I'm very curious. Okay, we've assigned the thing. But I don't like the idea of fighter engagement range decreased by 50%. If I go to the wing con tab now. It needs an officer assigned, right? So it actually starts working. Uh, let's go back. So I, I, I like investigating things. So I can't blame you too much. <laughs> I must investigate everything. The 56 silver. Okay. So it has kind of just made a custom wing inside the carrier. But now it has reduced their combat range to 3,000, which is still pretty good to be fair. Um, it's not that low. So now if I go back to Wingcom management, you can see it here. Squadron info. I'm very curious on how this is working because this is... Oh, I don't want to do that. We need to do a test. We need to do a test. Uh, run simulation. Anybody. You can see now they've all names. There seems to be less of them. There should be... Hmm. I'm pretty sure before there used to be three per wing. No, there's two per wing. Okay. Is this worth it? Let me try something else. Let me try something else. So, fair enough. That was a carrier. Can I equip it on this? I can. So this is my thinking, everybody. This is this is where I'm going with this. So of course, this is going to be our long range kill random people weapon, right? It's going to just go out there. It's going to kill some people. It's going to have a good time. I like how I completely ruined the comic readiness here by doing this. Um, but unfortunately, it reduces the its its range is reduced by half because I've done this. What if I instead make it custom on this fella? I should really be doing this on a dock, by the way, not in the middle of nowhere. But <laughs> it is what it is. Has that made a wing? It has. It's made a wing version of this guy. Engage. So I don't think that overall it's going to mean that this guy has a better pilot, pretty much. That is pretty cool. <laughs> Get him, man, get him. Yeah, so what we're doing said then. Get rid of this for now. I know I've just wasted loads of comet readiness, but it's fine. Uh, we'll put this guy back to where he was. We want to probably use the wing comm suit later on if we get a big carrier with like like three or four fighter bays, because then it make loads of um unique upgradable squadron units in a large carrier. I reckon it'd be very powerful. But anyway, moving on. Moving on, everybody. Apart from me just wasting those resources. Uh, there's still so much to find. Loader overdrive. Ooh. Reduces range. I don't want to reduce range, game. No. My range is mine alone. An equipment cache. Not very good equipment, but it's okay. Um we surveyed that. There was a minor cache over there. There's not really any good planets here, is there? Unfortunately. There is more to discover, though. That was not worth it. <laughs> then I got attacked by an asteroid as well. Savagely attacked by an a inanimate object. Not worth it either. Ooh. What is happening? We're being targeted by the Hedgemy. They're attacking my star base! No. Three fleets! Oh no! 
They're not just attacking me, they're attacking everybody. We've got 26 days. We're wrapping this up. We'll quickly finish off what we're doing here. And we'll head back and prepare to defend my new territory. They will not raid my lands and they will not take my stuff. My stuff is my stuff alone. Damn them. I think the last thing to grab is on the star itself. This has not been that successful. We didn't get much from this tool, but it's fine. You can't win them all. Let's get out of here. 26 days. If probably we probably have time to go back to our main base. Oh no, we're already in the main base. We're we're teleport back to the main base. We'll see if we can get like an additional unit or something. What is that? Are you hostile? No. <laughs> I bet these guys are pissed though. They're, they're seeing me just using these warp gates and like, oh, I gotta travel all the way out there. Okay. Friends, let me sell you my random junk I found in the middle of nowhere. One of those is worth a lot of money, so we have made some money at least. <laughs> I'm not sure what that was, but at least it was worth something. Okay, so we get rid of all this junk. Get rid of it all. Get rid of that prisoner as well. Okay, I really want to check this. Have we got... The... No, it's still not spawning for me. We need to probably make our own equipment at this point, because I'm getting really unlucky with the game not giving me what I want. But that's fine. It is what it is. Oh, the suppression beam. No, I, we can't. I'm not going to risk removing anything from this. Oh! Let's put that back. I mentioned as well I was going to change stuff around, didn't I? So, where was it? I think it was... This is a very cool unit, the Raven. We'll leave that alone, but I'm going to change this one because it may mean that the carrier would like hold back and not just run in. Standoff supports. Ah! Ah! This mission. Ah, oh, that's so cool! Yes, I want a long range weapon, sir. And there's multiple, so we can equip it our carrier as well. That is very good. So this is going to require. Let's change stuff around quickly. Is there more salamanders? No. Oh, this is a... Oh, I see. This is a... It hasn't got any ammo. Okay, so we changed it. This is now a very long-range ship. Hopefully, it will not get close into doing combat. It should just stay at the back. So that is awesome for us. We'll get that sorted out. Done. Okay, next up. This. I want to make this into a range unit instead of like a other one. So there's a support... Or we can get a Grenadier. I want to try the Grenadier. I think this is going to be the... Oh, they've already got a long-range one. I didn't think that was long-range. My bad, everybody. I thought I picked something else. We'll leave it as it is, then. Though, I do want to see the Cyber, if we can see the Cyber. No, there's no Cyber. <laughs> Damn it. The Bodyguard might be a good shout, though. But it is a lot less. We leave it. We leave it. That also explains why these guys are just around the belt in the battlefield. Because I thought they had a thousand range, but they don't. They just go. They go where they want. Okay, cool. I'll take all that. Oh, I forgot about the upgrade for this, didn't I? And also, this is still wrong. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, let's grab. additional stuff. I'll probably have to go through this in detail later on because I think I've got to do a lot of changes and stuff but I don't want to spend too much time on the video doing it but we will at least customize this guy. Let's add what we need here. Uh, where were they? They were down here, right? Let's 
causing a bit of a problem though with the amount of stuff we're using. Uh, maybe we should try and change its weapons a little bit. So these suppression beams have less range. They save a little bit, but also it means it'd be very anti-shield, this carrier. So hopefully it will mean it, it makes enemies back off because they've got no flux. So we're going to switch it out and save a little bit of resources. And also it's a beam, so I imagine it just turn off enemies that get too close anyway. Done. It's not perfect, but it will be fine. <laughs> it's fine, don't worry about it. This... I think we just leave it as it is for now. Well, there's a lot of gaps we can fit in, isn't there? More capacity. Done. Cool. Happy with that. Let's go and see if we can kill that raid then. Actually, do you know what? We'll deal with the very next episode, everybody, because it's actually, it's been like nearly a whole episode. I'm just going to spend the last like few minutes just looking at these though, because I want to see if we can upgrade. We can't buy any of these. I reckon I can get myself a second storm carrier. Um, it's going to cost a lot of money though, isn't it? Is there a cheaper one I can get off the black market? No, there's more pocket gusts though. I don't want that. <laughs> no, 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 no. I've had enough of pocket gusts. Let's grab this storm carrier. And we have two of those now. Grab the standoff. And is there... What are these other ones then? Finisher. Limited ammo. Limited ammo. Okay, they all have limited ammo. Okay, fair enough. I guess we can grab... We'll leave that alone then. We'll leave that be. We can probably switch around the fits, actually. <laughs> to save myself some money here, let's just equip the same thing again. <laughs> it's fine, don't worry about it. Uh, on this one, we're going to equip a heavy trooper and a grenadier. Do you want one's faster? Top speed 150, 120. Let's go over two grenadiers and let's see how that works. Uh, we need some IBSs as well. Where is it? IBS. Grab some of that. Oh, we need integrated targeting unit. Done. So a quick, quick little uh, test attack. And we'll see how it goes. Let's just fight, I don't know. It's a bunch of random pirates, I guess. Just fight some of these. Done. I'd never seen the Grenadier in combat before. Go for the mule. Oh, they're shotgunny. Now, gotta bear in mind, this is a mule. So, if that was a frigate, it would have been overloaded right away. In fact, it looks like it can take down a mule. Interesting. I wish I didn't have a army shield because I have to make where I'm defending. Very nice. Okay, so this carrier can easily kill a lot of the frigates then and even take down some pirate um, destroyers. These are cool, these little orange things, uh, the little pebble things though. Yeah, this is, this is what I like it. I like it. It's a cool little support ship we got there. Done. But right, everybody, that is it for this episode. As always, thank you for watching. <laughs> Please like, subscribe, leave a comment below. And I will, uh, next episode, we will be fighting off the dramatic raid on our new found system. Bye, everybody.